Welcome to Fab and Finesse and TV. What's good, y'all? Now, I've been going for a while. Been a lot of stuff going on with the whole Labor Day stuff. And on top of that, just me spending time gaming and stuff. But anyway, today, the effect we're going to be doing is the Thor Glowing Eye Effect from Ragnarok, Infinity War, and pretty much all of them. That's pretty much it. But like I said, um, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we're going to play the intro, and then I'll show you a preview when we jump straight into After Effects. Let's get it. Just getting started. Okay, so we got everything opened up in, in my After Effects. Um, I used the green screen for this one. This tutorial was inspired by film learning. I probably put his YouTube channel in the film description box and whatnot, but I did a few things that was kind of different from him just a bit. So this is why I'm gonna make my version also, and I think it's just cool for my channel to have the Thor eye effect also. Now, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna track the eyes. That's the first thing we're gonna do. So you go click this tracker window over here, make sure your mask is selected. I press Z for the zoom in tool, zoom in a bit. And then press V to go back to the selection tool, click track motion. You can see I use my green screen. I'm gonna zoom in some, uh, drag our track motion over this highlighted part of my eye and make sure you, you, this thing is at the beginning of the clip. And then we're just gonna simply track forward and it should run pretty smooth because I nice detail I have on my eye for my light. Once that's done, cool. Now that that's done pretty much, we're going to uh, go to layer, add a no object, and we're going to click edit target. Make sure it's on no one. Okay. Apply XYZ dimensions. Done. Now we're just going to rename this to inner eye, capital L for left eye. Cool. That's that. Once you do that now, the next thing we're going to do is add a adjustment layer. So go to layer new adjustment layer make sure that sits above the the tracking and we're just going to put this mode to add and we're going to parent this to the inner eye and then we're just going to zoom in a bit press g for the pen tool and draw a mass it's kind of it's kind of loud over here by my side so just bear with me if you just follow through with the the, the tutorial Everything else should go smooth, but just bear with me on this one. Now, once that mask is done, we're just going to add an F go to effect and go to color correction, add exposure. You hit exposure, the exposure jumps right in, and then we're going to change the exposure to 7.19. Enter. We're going to change the gamma correction to 4.1. And now we're gonna open our mask, press M on the highlighted uh, adjustment layer, close that, oh, reopen it, and this should show. And we're gonna change our feather to six. And our max expansion to negative three. And then we're gonna press H on the hand tool. Well, we're just gonna zoom out a bit, matter of fact. Zoom out a bit, press V, highlight this, your anchor point right here select this and move your anchor point to the center of your eye cool now that that's done we're just gonna zoom out a bit let's hit fit, a fit I mean sorry and let's just see how this tracks let me turn the resolution down to half so it could kind of load a bit faster for us yeah I know you hit a lot of trucks in the background sorry but as you can see we're getting somewhere so bear with me and we're gonna just get through this tutorial now as you can see how that happens now we're just gonna close this up a bit go right back to mass now and then we're gonna click track motion again and we're just gonna repeat it the same exact steps we did for the the uh, the left eye to the right okay apply XYZ dimensions cool Rename this to inner I R cool. Now that you got that done, you're just gonna duplicate this, duplicate your adjustment layer, command D, and just change this to inner IR. 
zoom in a bit press V for the selection tool just drag that over to this eye now and then after you do that it should, it should just be uh, rolling out pretty smooth let's go back to fit back to half resolution don't know what got it back to full and as you can see it's looking like it's going pretty well so now that we got that we're gonna start our outer eye so we're gonna hit mask again and just repeat for the same thing with track motion but it's gonna be a little different this time because instead of putting it on our pupil we're gonna put it like this corner area of our eye that's what we're gonna want to try let me move it back I'm about to readjust it because I wasn't at the very first frame and right there and just move forward and that should just track out pretty smooth once that's done tracking now rinse and repeat the same thing I was saying no object um edit target make sure it's no three okay apply XYZ okay rename this to outer I alpha left and then uh, go up here and we're just gonna create another new adjustment layer and um let me see which one is this this is inner eye left so we're just gonna rename this to inner eye i l so we don't get confused with these adjustment layers inner i r rename outer i l okay now once that's done we're just gonna zoom in a bit with the z tool to get you zoom in press g to get your pen tool and just draw a mask around our outer eye i'm just rushing it a bit because it's a tutorial but on y'all in like i said as always take your time once that mask is complete now we're going to do the same thing make the mode to add click the inner eye we're going to copy the exposure command c go to outer command v we're going to parent this to our outer eye left and then we're going to uh add a color correction this dog's barking and stuff color correction color correction we're going to go to why am i not seeing it for some weird reason okay photo filter sorry about that for me taking mad long i'm getting distracted over here cooling filter lbb we're going to change the density to 100 and we're going to uncheck that and then we're going to add a tent back the color correction scroll all the way down tent i found that one a lot faster than the, than the last one so you know we're gonna change the amount to 70. and then after that we're going to hit mass press m for mass bring that out a bit and let's do about 15 i would say probably 10. And then we're gonna uh, zoom out a bit. Per H for the hand tool. Zoom in a bit. Make sure you highlight it on your adjustment layer because we need to move the anchor point. We're gonna move the anchor point to the corner of our eye. About right there. Cool. That should be good for that one. And let's see how that looks. Looks pretty cool. Let me see if I press zero. fit no, let's put that back at 10 that's math play with your settings until something works for you you know and uh the next thing we're gonna do is hold on someone's calling me okay cool 
So you're just gonna rinse and repeat for the same thing. You're gonna do this to the other eye. So next, you close this. Make sure you highlight your mask. Go to track motion. Wait, before you go to track motion, start from first frame, track motion. Drag this over to the corner of the eye right there. Track forward. So you just do the same thing what we just did to the other side. I'm gonna fast forward this. Like this a bit. And then now um the next thing we possibly could do is we're gonna add some glow around the eyes. So what we're doing is we're gonna go to a uh, layer, new solid, right here. Change this color. We're gonna change this to, to rename it to glow. Go up here, make it baby blue. Okay, okay. Then we just gonna turn that off for a bit. Then we're gonna zoom in a bit. Press G for the pen tool and just create a mask around our eye. So I this you know do it e e any way you, you, you prefer that you feel works for you and whatever and looks pretty cool to yourself so once you uncheck that you're able to see it. it's pretty cool then we're going to change the mode of it to screen press M for feather close that reopen that and we're going to feather this about two 45 and then we're going to add a fast box blur add that change the radius of it to 58 repeat edge click that and then change it to vertical and then also parent this to outer eye left and then we're just gonna go back to fit see how that looks now and that looks pretty good and all you can do is just duplicate this and then change it to uh out of ir and then just move that over a bit right over there and then it should be good and here you got this cool looking thing um Let's close this up and then we could go down here to background and then go to effect just to brighten up our eyes some more go to color correction and go to brightness and contrast and change drop the brightness down to whatever fits your background I put negative 49 for mine and then drop the contrast I mean put the contrast to 27 to bring some more better glow to mine you could also duplicate and then duplicate and then just press T for opacity and just drop each one on each eye to like 50. And then you get this cool looking eye effect, the Thor eye effect. And you could just add lightnings or whatever. I'm not gonna go too far into that tutorial. I think I kind of showed that in like, uh, my flash tutorials but pretty much what I use was video copilot that they have a free plugin called saber and then you just pretty much do whatever it is you want I'll, I'll even kind of like show a quick scenario on how to do it you just collect the solid I would I choose a black solid press ok after that go to effect video copilot saber change the preset to meteor here you have this little nice cool little vibe now Change the color to a uh, blue. Boom, you got your little Thor lightning going on. And you could just press uh, S to scale it down to make it look cooler. Don't worry about that. Just hit screen and everything disappeared as black. And then here you, you got this little cool little lightning. And you just adjust it however you want. Rotate it, whatever. And that's how you pretty much do it and just shorten each clip of it. Now, if you like this tutorial... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos. I deeply appreciate everybody that's been supporting me. And thank you for tuning in forever, Finesse and TV. And we are out of here.